Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how to detect your face and draw a rectangle around it like this. So first of all, let's talk about how to detect faces in a picture. So for example, suppose that I have a picture in my H drive and in a folder called YouTube, and here is my picture. And you can see the path of this picture is this, H, YouTube, and PIC.png. And if I copy this path, and if I go to PyCharm, my ID, my favorite ID for Python programming, so here we should import OpenCV package. So I import CV2. And remember, if it doesn't work for you, it, you should simply import it like this. From CV2, import CV2. There it is. Then we are going to read our image. So we simply type cv2.imread for reading our image. And we should put the path of our file here. And we put all the stuff in a variable called, let's say, img, which stands for image. Then you should go to this GitHub page in order to download this file, which the link of this page is in the description. So we need to download this file, hard cascade frontal face default. So I open it in a, in a new tab. Then I click on this raw button and then I should press control S in order to save this file. So for example, I want to save it in this path. So I click save. So here is the file, right click on it, go to properties and then security. And here is the absolute path of this file. Copy this path and go to the pie chart. And now here we are going to use that path. And then we want to build our model. So we simply type cv2.cascade classifier and we should pass the path of that file and we build our model. And then we want to detect the faces. So we simply type model the detect multi-scale and we should pass our image and then it's going to detect the faces which we are going to store all that stuff in, in a variable let's say called faces then we are going to draw rectangles around each face in our picture so we simply use a for loop for every face so we simply type for x y width and height and height and faces and we want to draw a rectangle. So we simply type cv2.rectangle and we pass our image. Then we are going to pass the top left coordinate of our rectangle, which is x and y. And then we are going to pass the bottom right coordinate, which is x plus width and y plus height. And the color is going to be yellow. So we simply type this which remember that this is according to BGR system. So we don't want any blue, but we want full of green and full of red, which makes yellow. And then we are going to assign the thickness of our line, which for example, I want to assign two for the thickness or whatever you want, but I want to assign two. So now we are going to update our image with that rectangles on it. And after all, we are going to show our image. So we simply type cv2 that I am show because you want to show our image. And for example, we are going to consider a name for our window, which is let's say Kulak or whatever name you want. And we are going to uh, show this image in a window called Kulak. There it is. And then we are going to use wait key and we pass zero. And then we are going to use cv2 that destroy all windows in order to destroy or let's say close all windows. So now if I run the code, you can see that here is a picture and it has detected the face. And remember, if you don't write this line, it's going to close the window as soon as it opens. So for example, if I cut this line and if I run the code, you can see that it closes the window as soon as it appears. So remember to put this line and then if I run the code, so you can see that it's going to keep this window. So this was how to detect faces from an image. But let's talk about how to detect faces from a webcam. So first of all, we need to open our webcam and then we are going to read frames, which those frames are similar to our image. And then we are going to do the similar things for those frames. So first of all, let's delete this line because we want to capture video from our webcam. So we simply type cv2, that video capture, because we want to capture video from our webcam. And then I'm going to pass zero because I want to use the default webcam, which is my laptop webcam. I don't have any external webcam. If you have, for example, you can pass one for the external webcam. But now I have just one webcam, which is my laptop webcam. So I pass zero, I mean the zeroth webcam. And I want to call it, let's say, for example, webcam. Then we are going to use a while loop in order to read frame 
from our webcam. So we simply type while true, and then we are going to read frame from our webcam. So we simply type webcam.read, and we returns two values, which the first value is whether it's successful or not, and the second one is our image or let's say our frame so that's it here's our image so now we want to indent these lines and let's remove these spaces and also we want to change this zero to one because we want to wait for one millisecond and if in that one millisecond for example the user has pressed let's say q we want to break all this stuff and we want to stop the process so we simply type if the key which is pressed is equal to Q, we want to break the while loop. And then after all, we are going to destroy all windows. And also before that, we are going to release the webcam because maybe another program want to use it. So there it is. You can see that it properly detects my face. And also if I move my head, you can see that it works properly. And remember that this detect multiscale command has another arguments which you can pass in order to get better results. For example, a scale factor I want to pass, for example, 1.1 and minimum neighbors I want to pass, for example, 10, let's say. So if I run the code and again, you can see that we are getting proper results. And if you want, you can play with that arguments in order to get better results if you are not satisfied with those previous ones. And as I mentioned earlier, you can press Q on your keyboard in order to close this window. There it is. Wait, I suggest you to watch this video as well. And please make sure to subscribe and click the bell next to it to be notified of every new video. Thank you.